In this video, we'll be seeing how to create custom error pages in Laravel. Here I am having a Laravel application. You can see that here. So this is a basic e-commerce application. We did a video on this one. You can watch that video. I'll give the link for this on the description. If you go to this resources and inside the views, you can see these are the views that we are having currently. Now we'll be seeing how to add a custom error page. Let's try running this application. So simply use PHP artisan serve. Open your application and uh, we could see this is the application that uh, we did on the previous video. So you can watch that video. I'll give the link for this. So let's open a URL that we don't have right now. So enter some URL that you don't have added to the routes. And uh, you can see this is the error page that we are having. 404. Now we'll be seeing how to change this and create our own custom error pages. So it is very simple to do that in Laravel. You have to simply come to your project, go to resources inside the views. You can create a new folder and name it errors. And inside this errors folder, you can simply create a new file 404.blade.php. So when you create a folder named errors inside the views, Laravel will automatically check if you are having the file names for the exact errors. So right now we are having 404 added 404.blade.php. Now Laravel will be executing this file instead of the default error pages. So for demo purpose, let's try adding something here and uh, try running it. Now we are adding this h1 tag here and uh, simply showing this message. Let's try refreshing that page. Now when you refresh the page, you can see that the default design has been changed and our custom page is being loaded. You can see that the message is loading here. And you can see this is the URL that we tried earlier. Now you can also do this for any other errors. So if you are having a 403 error, you can simply create a file named 403.blade.php and this will be executed when you are having a 403 error. Now let's see how to modify the default error pages that Laravel have. So for that, we can remove this folder for now. Simply delete this folder and uh, you can open the terminal and uh, okay, create a new terminal. And here we can run the command php artisan vendor publish space hyphen hyphen tag equals laravel hyphen errors. So simply type this command and hit an enter here. Now this will publish the default error pages. Let's minimize this terminal and uh, you can see the folder errors added here. Now inside this errors folder, you can see all the error pages have been added. So these are the default pages that Laravel have. And if you open this one, you can see that it is extending this uh, errors, this minimal.play.php. And uh, you can make all the modifications that you want here. Inside the layout, you can change all these things. And we are having the error pages here. You can even add some extra messages or extra things that you want to pass, etc. Or you can also use a custom template that you want to use and uh, you can design this page according to your need. So that's it. It is very easy to create customer pages in Laravel. Hope you understand how to do this. If you have any doubts, you can ask it in the comment section and we will be responding to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.